みなさま、こんにちは。Good afternoon and good morning to our viewers and listeners in Europe. NRW Global Business Japan のゲオクルヤと申します。本日の NRW Global Business Online Event Series NRW Cities and Regions ドイツと欧州でのビジネスこの地でスタートへようこそ。私ども NRW Global Business Japan は本日 NRW 州と東京都のコーポレーションプロジェクトに参加する7つの都市と地域 NRW 州の都市と地域を紹介するシリーズをまた続けたいと思います。このコーポレーションプロジェクトは5月31日の MOU のサイニングでスタートいたしました。これから NW 州の方にビジネスを展開したい日本の中小企業、東京の中小企業を中心に、それから NW 州から東京、日本にビジネスを展開したい中小企業を支援していきたいと思っております。このコーポレーションプロジェクトに NW 州からこの7つの都市、地域が参加されていらっしゃいます。アーヘン、ボーホン、ドゥスルドーフ、エッセン、クレイフェルト、ラインクライスノイツ、それから本日のパートナーであるコロン、コルンでございます。すでに今日5日目のイベントでございます。皆様、毎回ご参加、誠にありがとうございました。それでは本日のプログラムを紹介させていただきます。最初は私、NW グローバルビジネス社のジャパンのルヤーが挨拶をして、それから NW グローバルビジネス本社のアジア・オーストラリア部長、アストリッド・ベカー様、ご挨拶をしていただきます。それから、都市地域連合の紹介で、ケルン氏の方々にプレゼンテーションをしていただきます。ケルンビジネス経済振興公社の外国投資家アドバイザー、のマル・クレガーさんと外国投資案件アドバイザーのダニエル・リドンさんそれからまた特別ゲストとしてケルン商工会議所国際ビジネス支援部のアジア・パシフィック・コンサルタントのミヒャイラ・グラウ様でございますプレゼンテーションの後は Q&A セッションもございますのでぜひあの参加していいただければと思います、まあ、参加の仕方はもう皆さんご存知かと思いますが Q&A ボタンを使ってあのそちらに質問を入れていただければと思いますもしくは手を挙げてディスカッションの途中でも発言できますのであのぜひあの手を挙げていただければと思います何か技術的な不具合がございましたら、チャットファンクションを使ってください。で、本日も
あのまた通訳がございますので自分が聞きたいチャンネルをあのお選びくださいさてあのベッカー部長のご挨拶に入る前に皆さんにあのあのご挨拶したいと思いますので、So、uh, thank you everyone to all the panelists for uh, joining uh, us today. Please、uh, activate your video and sound. Ms. Becker, nice to see you again today. See you、uh, again. Yeah.、Uh, Ms. Kröger, herzlich willkommen. Nice to see you.、Uh, Ms. Grau, nice to see you. And、Good、Mr. Lidon. So we have a nice group of panelists today, and、uh, we look forward to an interesting、uh, discussion to hear about more about the largest city in、uh, Nordrhein Westfalen, one of the most active、uh, business centers in Germany. And uh, yeah, uh, Becker san, would you kindly give us your、uh, word of greeting? Thank you. Yes, thank you very much with great pleasure. <laughs> Dear ladies and gentlemen, good morning and good afternoon to Tokyo from North Rhine Westphalia. Thank you very much for joining this webinar of our NRW Cities and Region series. We hope that with our webinars, we can give a good impression of the welcoming culture for Japanese small and middle enterprises and the high potential of business opportunities in North Rhine Westphalia. Today, we are very glad to introduce to you the city of Köln. Köln is one of the oldest cities in Germany and the largest city of North Rhine Westphalia. With 1.1 million inhabitants, it is the fourth most populous city in Germany and the largest city on the Rhine River. Köln has a history of more than 2,000 years and, thanks to its monumental cathedral, probably is also one of the best known German cities in the world. Throughout its history, it has always been an economic and cultural center of importance far beyond regional and national borders. And still today, Köln is the heavyweight of international trade, industry, and business in the western part of Germany. The Cologne Trade Fair, Köln Messe, ranks as a major international trade fair location with over 50 trade fairs. Land, Air and sea connection for passengers and freight ensure that the city can fulfill this role also in the 21st century. The city has five Rhine ports, the second largest inland port in Germany and one of the largest in Europe. Cologne Bonn Airport is the second largest global freight terminal in Germany and offers passenger flights to all over Germany and Europe. Also by railway, the city is a hub of international passenger and cargo transport. The freight terminal Eiffel Tor, just on the edge of the city borders, is Germany's largest. Köln has a very diversified economic structure that covers all major industries, from manufacturing to service industries, financial services, and tourism. The chemical industry, the food industry, and the publishing industry are some more essential sectors. Energy and water supply traditionally occupy a special position. Also, in the automotive industry, also the automotive industry is well represented in Köln. The largest employer in Köln is Ford Motors Europe, which has its European headquarters and a factory in Köln, Neil. Toyota Motors is represented in Köln through Toyota Motorsports. Toyota's official motorsports team responsible for Toyota rally cars. A number of automotive supplier companies from all over the world have also established their subsidiaries in Cologne. From Japan, for example, Yazaki, the world's largest producer of wiring harnesses, chose Cologne as the location of the European headquarter. Just at the end of 2020, the company Marelli chose Köln as a production site for their new 800 volt e engines for high end e vehicles. It is almost needless to say that Cologne is also an important center of science and RD. Business and science are setting international trends here and driving future technologies forward. 
There are numerous institutions of higher education in the city, most notably this University of Köln, one of Europe's oldest and largest universities, the Technical University of Köln, Germany's largest university of applied sciences, and the Sports University. All these institutions have active relationships and exchange with Japan. Furthermore, with the German Aerospace Center and the headquarters of the European Astronaut Center, a major research hub for the aerospace industry in Germany is located in the city. Companies locating in Köln benefit from the tech-oriented startup ecosystem with a pronounced B2B focus. Startups and companies can fall back on the knowledge and network of the world famous research institutions and over 10,000 new high potential graduates per year. Cologne is a major cultural center of the Rhineland. It hosts more than 30 museums and hundreds of galleries. Exhibitions range from local ancient Roman archaeological sites to contemporary graphics and sculpture. Last but not least, the citizens of Cologne like to enjoy, enjoy their leisure time at local pubs serving the special local beer, Kölsch. The city therefore boasts the highest density of pubs per inhabitant in Germany. It is because of all these characteristics that the city of Cologne entertains a lot of city partnerships all around the world. One of the oldest is the partnership with the city of Kyoto. I am sure that our colleagues from Cologne Business are now very eager to go into more detail of all the characteristics of their cities. So I now hand back to Georg Löhr to introduce the presenters. Thank you very much for your attention. Becca san, domo, arigato gozaimashita. Uh, Ms. Becca, thank you very much for this uh, wonderful uh, greeting at the beginning of our event. And uh, now I would like to move on directly to Cologne. Uh, I hear that the weather today is not as sunny as it looks on this picture, but uh, Köln is uh, good at any, uh, during any weather. Uh, so. Uh, let's enjoy our stay in Köln. Minasan, Yoko so Köln shie. Köln wa ano Nordrhein Westfalen shu no Swarashi ano Machi de Gosaimas. Sate, Honjitsu wa ano Köln Business Kezai Shinko Kosha no Katakata ga, ma, koita omuna service nayo to nitsuite motto kuashku ano. ご紹介してくださるので、それからあの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
a little bit of context first, Cologne Business and the Chamber of Commerce are two separate institutions, but we pursue the same goal, and that is providing support to international companies um, wishing to settle down here in North Rhine Westphalia's largest city. So without further ado, um, I would say we can start. So Köln Business, um, who are we and what do we do? So we essentially the Office of Economic Development of Cologne. We were founded in 2019, so relatively young institution, um, and we were founded as a spin-off of the city of Cologne. That means that we remain a fully public subsidiary. And as I mentioned, our main aim and our main goal is to provide support to the business community of Cologne, but also to those wishing to expand here from abroad and bring their business here. So you can see we are a relatively large institution with 75 employees. Um, we also have a very multicultural and multilingual team. It's a representation of the city in itself. And we always have an open ear for any questions you may have about investing or moving to Cologne. So make sure to give us a call or drop us a message if you have any questions. Um, Malu Kroger and I work within the international desk, that's international section of Cologne Business. Our main aim here is to provide a soft landing to foreign companies settling down in Cologne. This includes help with, for example, visa issues or residence permits. We offer you there a little bit of guidance. We also provide contact to local service providers, be it lawyers, notary services, translators. We can also help provide you with information about renting or buying commercial properties in Cologne. That could be an industrial space or just a more modern concept like a co-working space. And we're also very happy to provide you contact with all the relevant departments of the city administration. And finally, the, the fun parts, um, we provide tips and advice on expat life in Cologne, from finding a German course to finding a German school or an international school, to maybe also finding networking events to find professionals within your industry. So for any question you have about life in Cologne, be it business related or in terms of personal and your family, we've got you covered. So what makes Cologne so special? Um, Cologne is Germany's fourth largest city, um, the largest in North Rhine-Westphalia. We're very much at the heart of Europe in one of the densest areas of the continent in terms of population. So you can see in the picture here on the right, within a radius of 100 kilometers, you can reach around 70 million people and potential customers. The city is strongly multicultural. You've got folk from over 180 countries based here. Um, that makes the city a melting pot of languages and cultures. Um, I myself, for example, I'm Spanish. I've been living here for about four years and you can feel that this is a very international and very welcoming city. And this internationality, you can feel in Cologne has excellent transport links to the rest of Germany and to Europe. We've got several international motorway links connecting the city to the Benelux area and to other parts of Germany. We're also very proud of our international train connections, which include direct train links to Amsterdam, Brussels, and also Paris. We've also got three international airports, which are reachable within 60 minutes. First of all, Cologne Bonn. That's about an, a nine minute train ride from the city center. Um, and you can reach the whole of Europe and some intercontinental destinations as well. The airport is also a very important cargo hub. Um, UPS and FedEx have established important logistic bases here in the past years. Then we've got the uh, Dusseldorf International Airport, which is around 35, 35 minutes by train, also with loads of connections throughout Europe and um, intercontinental connections as well with direct flights to Japan. And 40 minutes by, by train, we've got Frankfurt Airport as well. That's Germany's busiest airport, Lufthansa's main hub, and I think the third or fourth largest airport in, in continental Europe. Um, so within 40 minutes, you can reach three of the largest and most relevant airports here in Europe. 
Um, what makes Cologne also very special, and uh, Ms. Becker already spoke a little bit about this, is that unlike other cities in Germany, Cologne does not have one specific industrial focus. We think this is really healthy and, and really special for the city. You can find a very healthy mix of different industries and companies, ranging from large automotive giants to startups in the area of health and life sciences. This slide, you can find a short overview of the most relevant sectors, starting with the automotive. The car industry is extremely relevant for Cologne, with some internationally renowned companies such as Ford. It's the largest employer in the city, and in recent years, together with Morelli, it's been investing massively in an electric car production facility in Cologne. Around a billion um, US dollars will be invested in the Cologne facilities in the coming years. We've got Deutz as well, a traditional German engine manufacturer. And Toyota, uh, very well known to you. Um, German hub is really based in the city. And recently as well, which was very exciting, Toyota Insurance Management has decided to settle down in Cologne. This didn't come as a great surprise since Cologne is also one of Germany's largest insurance hubs. That brings me to the second point, insurance. Uh, we have a really long and rich insurance tradition. The world's first reinsurance company, Cologne Re, was found here in 1846 and is still based here in the city. But we're also home to large corporations such as AXA, New Line and Zurich, which contribute to Cologne's um, status as one of the largest insurance hubs in Germany. Other relevant sectors would be media and creative industry. Cologne is Germany's largest media center, especially in the field of television and film production. Many public and private broadcasters such as RTL or WDR are based here. This also plays very well with the very dynamic advertising and PS sector, which is based here in the city. I think personally, the media is a very special industry since it attracts a lot of young, creative, and alternative minds sometimes, which contributes to the city's vibrant, international and exciting scene and vibe. So bring me now to the next sector, the health and life sciences one, also a really exciting one. Uh, we've got a massive landscape here in Cologne with more than 180 companies in this industry. We've got global players such as Sanofi, Bayer or 3M. But it's also not just industry giants. We foster a lively startup ecosystem within this sector with companies such as MDoc, um, Cologne local company, which focuses on digital health apps. Also going towards this um, startup um, area, IT. Um, Cologne is a very digital metropolis. My colleague Malu Kröger will delve a little bit more into this topic in the coming slides. We've got some exciting big names um, established in the city like EA, Electronic Arts, deals especially with the gaming industry. An exciting recent addition to the Cologne IT landscape was Zoom, um, which decided to open its central European offices here in Cologne. Um, yeah, thanks to Zoom, Zoom has obviously um, gained a lot of relevance in the past few months. It's just not IT, the, the C of ICT is also based here with many telecommunication companies based here, such as Deutsche Telekom, Net Cologne, Vodafone. You can all find them here in Cologne. And our final sector would be logistics and aerospace. We're very lucky to have a, a large airport without nighttime restrictions. That is quite unique in Germany. Um, and therefore, the airport has developed into a large logistic hub in, in the past few years, welcoming companies such as FedEx, which I already mentioned, UPS, they've got their central European hubs based here in the airport. Lufthansa, Germany's flag carrier, um, it's got its ca um, corporate headquarters uh, based here in Cologne. And as already mentioned, the German Aerospace Center, headquartered also in Cologne. Also very happy to have the European Union Aviation Agency, EASA. It's an agency of the European Union with responsibility for civil aviation, uh, aviation um, safety. It's also very TC in Cologne, right in the city center next to the Rhine. So yeah, this was a lot of information with a lot of names, but I hope that with this slide, you've got a bit of a feeling for Cologne's diversity when it comes to this industrial landscape. We find that this is a massive plus point and a positive point for Cologne. And as you can see, companies from all industries can find relevant contacts here in the city. I would now hand over to my colleague Malu Kröger, who will delve a little bit more into the topic of innovation, digitalization, and quality of life. And yeah, we'll speak later during the Q&A. <laughs> 
Thank you very much, Daniel, Liron, and good afternoon to Japan. I would like to continue to present some facts about our city. And um, moreover, Cologne is a really innovative research location. The University of Cologne is one of the largest and oldest in Germany. It was founded already in 1388. Cologne is home to the German Aerospace Center, as well as four Max Planck Institutes. The foci of the Max Planck Institutes in Cologne are biology of aging, plant breeding research, metabolic research, and study of societies. The city hosts numerous excellence clusters and science centers, like for example, the BioCampus Cologne, a cluster for quantum computer, and many more. The city of Cologne has been consistently ranked as one of the most digitally savvy cities of Germany. Today, the digital economy includes around 2,000 companies and over 550 startups. Our startup unit of Köln Business helps with networking in the startup ecosystem and with companies gives individual startup advice on topics such as financing and investor search, marketing, search for skilled workers, or internationalization. Companies within the IT digital sector generate over 6 billion euros revenue yearly. Cologne has a long tradition as a trade fair city. Köln Messe is one of the largest locations for fairs, congresses, and events on the globe. It is located on the right bank of the Rhine with a direct link to the high-speed train station. Köln Messe presents leading world trade fairs, such as Anuga, which is taking place the next weekend, the Mexico Gamescom, in Cologne, or ISM. In times before the corona pandemic, more than 3 million visitors from over 24 countries, 224 countries, I'm sorry, um, really, uh, in times before the corona, pandemic, more than 3 million visitors from more than 224 countries visited the Köln Messe every year. As my colleague Daniel Lidon already mentioned, Cologne is a very welcoming, international and colorful city. Kölsch Beer is the city's well-loved regional specialty. And I hope you have the chance to try it one day. Moreover, Cologne is very famous for its carnival, which we like to call the fifth season of the year. Attractions such as the Cologne Cathedral which is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the, its city's 12 large Romanesque churches create an unforgettable impression of our city. Furthermore, as Ms. Becker already mentioned, Cologne is home to over 40 museums, 110 galleries, as well as an internationally renowned Philharmonic Orchestra. As I just mentioned, Cologne is a very international city with 24 sister cities. And Cologne struck its first non-European city partnership arrangement with Kyoto in 1963. 
The arrangement has established a regular and lively exchange in the fields of sports, culture, and art. In 2013, the partnership agreement was extended. The festivities were accompanied by various musical and cultural events. In this context, the two mayors of both cities also inaugurated Kyoto Square in Cologne's city center. Cologne takes pride in its Japan-oriented schools and cultural institutions, such as the Japanese Cultural Institute, the Museum of East Asian Art, or the Cologne School for Japanese Language. And in order to give you a first insight uh, we want to show you a short video of our city, Cologne. And now I would ask Mr. Lidon mm -hmm. to start the video. Thank you. Thank you Mario. I'm much. just going to quickly share the video again. One second. Thank you. So. Cologne. No, not that Cologne. This Cologne. We've always been an engine of innovation. Fun fact, we invented it. Today, we drive on data highways and are driven by life science, biotech and IT. And we love to entertain. This is the place for startups and industry giants. Seventeen million people live in our region, from all over the globe and all walks of life, and in all colors. Here, everybody's welcome. Or, as we like to say, Jeder Jeck is anders. Jeder ist anders Jeck und jetzt Jeck sind mal. We export goods and knowledge. And we're in great company. Close to Paris, Brussels and Amsterdam. Trade city for 2,000 years. The service industry and the trades are the heart of our economy covering anything from Beethoven to your insurance. We also prepare Europe's astronauts for their missions and welcome them back with our famous beer. Cologne, the city that combines business with lifestyle. And yes, before you ask, Cologne also comes from Cologne. Wir werden alle reich. Thank you very much. Yeah, we all warmly welcome you to come to Cologne to get a personal impression of the city. And please do not hesitate to contact us anytime if you have any questions. But first, Ms. Grau from the Cologne Chamber of Commerce and Industry will tell you more about their services. Thank you very much for your attention. Yes, a good morning also from my side. Thank you very much, Ms. Kruger and Mr. Lidon for your 
presentation so far. Um, good afternoon to everyone in Japan. I'm very pleased to represent the Cologne Chamber of Commerce and Industry on this occasion. My name is Michaela Grau. I'm part of the team Countries and Markets in the International and Business Support section. My main responsibility is to assist our member companies with their business in the Asian Pacific region. My aim today is to make you familiar with the Cologne Chamber of Commerce and its international services. To start with, I will give you some background facts and figures and inform you on the main tasks of the Chamber. I will then outline the services we provide for foreign companies and for our members with international activities. Finally, I will look at the current situation of German business in Japan. The Cologne Chamber of Commerce is one of 79 regional chambers in Germany. It was founded in 1797 and is the oldest continuously existing German chamber. With 150,000 members in and around Cologne, it is the largest chamber in North Rhine-Westphalia. German chambers have a special status. They are autonomous bodies that are neither private nor part of the state. All enterprises are legally required to be a member of the regional chamber. The Chamber of Commerce and Industry has three major functions. Tasks assigned by law, the representation of members' interests, and additional services. Tasks assigned by the government to the chamber are, for example, the administration of the dual education system and the issuing of certificates for international trade, <clears throat> such as, for example, certificates of origin. In order to represent the interests of its members, the chamber can, for instance, make proposals towards local authorities for political undertakings that affect businesses. In addition, the Chamber provides general services, primarily for small and medium-sized enterprises, startups, and companies in formation. I will give you some examples of these services now in relation to our services for foreign companies. Now let's assume a Japanese company wants to set up a business in Cologne. At the formation stage, we can provide business intelligence and advice on how to set up a business. We also supply general information on laws and taxes. As a member, the Japanese company will benefit from our support with recruitment strategies, vocational training and professional development, contacts to regional business networks, information on innovation hubs, news and event service, and from our help for companies affected by certain incidents, such as the pandemic or the recent flood catastrophe. For most of these services, we have specialists in our corresponding departments. Our main focus in the international section lies on services for those of our member companies that already have international business or are planning to enter foreign markets. These companies, we inform about the current market situation and recent developments with regard to economy, infrastructure, legislation and key industries. We counsel them on customs procedures and issue trade documents. We provide advice on legal issues, for example, how intellectual property can be protected abroad. Our members can consult us with regard to financing and covering their payments in foreign transactions. Furthermore, the Chamber organizes seminars and workshops as well as business travels and pavilions at overseas trade fairs. 
Naturally, we also cover present topics with an international dimension, keeping our members up to date about the news developments, for example, regarding Brexit or COVID-19. In many of the aforementioned areas, we work closely together with our chamber organizations abroad, for example, the German Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Japan. They are the experts on site and have thorough know-how of their local markets. Now, Japan is widely acknowledged for its economic, cultural and innovative achievements and plays an important role for many German companies, amongst them notable firms from the Cologne region. Now, how do they view the current situation and prospects in Japan? The German Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Japan and KPMG have recently carried out a survey amongst German companies in Japan. The answers given by 105 companies show that the Japanese market remains very profitable and highly important for them, despite the difficult conditions caused by the pandemic. The number one location factor is stability. 95% of the companies surveyed appreciate the stability and reliability of business relationships in Japan. 86% regard the high sales potential in Japan as the most important reason for their presence in Japan. Third market cooperation is also an important topic for German business in Japan. Around half of the companies cooperate with Japanese companies on joint projects in third markets in order to benefit from their good access. The expectations of respondents regarding the development of their sales and profits in Japan remain positive over the short term and even more positive over the medium term with 73% of the companies expecting increasing sales and 55% expecting increasing profits in Japan. In the survey, the companies have also been asked which business opportunities they see for themselves in Japan. Almost half of those surveyed considered fuel cell and hydrogen technology to be one of the most promising future growth areas for Japan. This is followed by digital technologies and green tech. The CEO of the German Chamber in Japan com commented on this. As partners who share the same values, Germany and Japan are likely to be able to develop attractive cooperation and business opportunities. Now, with this quote, I like to end my presentation. And quite in the spirit of these words, I wish you and us all the best for the future. And please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any further queries. Thank you for your attention. Well, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Grau and uh, Ms. Kröger and uh, Mr. Lidon. Um, Frau Grau, this is a wonderful picture, but uh, maybe we can, uh, I would like to take back the screen just a second. Yes, here we are. So, we would now like to move on uh, to uh, the Q&A session. And I would like to welcome everyone uh, to the discussion. Please put your uh, questions forward uh, under the Q&A uh, function, or just raise your hand if you would like to uh, participate. Uh, we have now uh, heard a lot about Cologne one of the most uh, attractive and vibrant cities in North Rhine-Westphalia with uh, very strong uh, connections to Japan. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, I was in Cologne only three weeks ago and uh, I, could, uh, I can uh, testify 
uh, to the very vibrant atmosphere there. Uh, I was uh, in the Schildergasse, the main, uh, and Hohestrasse, the main shopping area of Cologne, and there were hundreds, if not thousands of people uh, on the road there. Uh, and uh, it was also very nice to see this wonderful uh, store from a big Japanese clothing company uh, called uh, Uniqlo, uh, which is uh, present in Cologne. But as you mentioned earlier on, uh, there are also uh, a number of other important uh, Japanese companies in Cologne. Uh, foremost uh, among them, of course, Toyota, uh, I think they're there since 1972 or so. And uh, uh, more recently, Yazaki, a big player uh, in the automobile uh, supply industry. And uh, uh, Ms. Becker mentioned also Marelli, uh, right on the forefront of uh, uh, electric motors for, for high-spec uh, vehicles. So there are lots of companies there, but uh, also uh, we have a very good contact with um, uh, Mitsui Sumitomo Insurance Group, uh, which has a really strong presence in Cologne, also a testament to the uh, strength of the insurance hub uh, Cologne. But uh, maybe uh, one company which you didn't mention uh, today is uh, perhaps uh, most well known in Japan, I hope at least, uh, which is called Deep L. Uh, it is uh, a very well known uh, translation tool uh, with uh, uh, which is uh, has delivers translations which are even better than anything you can get from Google or others. Uh, also very good for our Japanese clients. So uh, Tokyo Tono Minasama please use uh, uh, DeepL when you start doing your business in Germany, then uh, success is guaranteed. Yeah, so um, I think uh, Cologne has such a huge breadth of, uh, of uh, opportunities and activities, it's really amazing. Maybe you could uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, what's going on in the startup scene. I, I know that there are so many companies there. We know a company called Next Kraftwerke quite well, who are also very engaged uh, in Japan, but I'm sure there are many other potential uh, entrants to the Japanese market or potential uh, partners uh, from uh, for companies from Japan. So how did you uh, succeed in making uh, such uh, uh, current such a, an excellent startup hub? Who wants to, maybe Frau Kröger, maybe you want to comment on this. Yes, thank you, Mr. Leur. Um, how I can, yeah, what I can tell about um, the startup system in Cologne. Yeah, you're right, it's really vibrant vibrant and growing extremely right now. And as I mentioned, we have a startup unit in our current business and they support um, all startups with any questions they have. And it's a team of four people right now. And they are also, yeah, they love their jobs and <laughs> they like to interact with startups. And yeah, now it's really growing. And if there are special questions afterwards regarding the topic startups, yeah, we like to yeah, introduce our colleagues for further questions. And I'm sure they're also really open and like to answer every question. Maybe, Daniel Don, do you want to add some um, facts? Yes, thank you, Malu. Uh, yes, as, as um, my colleague just said, I think the fact that we have a, a specific startup unit here has helped a lot, um, provide a little bit of coherence to the very vibrant um, startup community that we have here. It's rather, rather large. We have about 600 startups, 60% um, of them are in the early or, or seed stage. So it's a very vibrant um, um, sort of like early stage startup scene, which is quite interesting. Um, we've got quite a lot of startup infrastructure, also quite recent. We've got about 15 incubators and accelerators around over 50 co-working spaces and business centers uh, for industrial states. So that really helps give the startups that, that come from abroad um, a good landing space, so to speak. All very international, 
uh, big Asian community, but also like Anglo-Saxon community here as well. So English is really the, the language of, 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 of communication, so to speak. Um, in terms of capital, we've got a lot of uh, venture capital funds here in the region, around 40 of them, and lots of business angels. This is something that our startup um, unit here at Köln Business can also provide help with. And lots of events as well. That's something quite exciting. Um, we've got lots of events focused specifically to the startup. Um, seen like the Pirate Summit, that's uh, specifically for the Cologne startup scene. We've got the Mexico as well, which is about digital marketing. Um, Gamescom attracts a lot of young startups, also from Japan. Um, digital X. So there's a, a big, it's a rising startup city. I wouldn't say that it's, you know, a very established one, but it's it's very much um, at an outbreak point, which is quite exciting to see. Yeah, I think you... you uh... Uh, mentioned all the very important points. I mean, um, in Japan, especially, uh, of course, uh, Köln as a Messe location is extremely well known. Uh, I met also your Lord Mayor, Miss uh, Reka here, uh, when she was visiting for with together with Köln Messe. And uh, uh, you mentioned several of the uh, big events uh, uh, Anuga is very well known, and especially as you may know, uh, Japan has been pushing uh, its uh, exports of high quality uh, food and agricultural uh, products over the past few years. And I think there's a lot of potential in here. Also, the Jetro uh, office, uh, offices around the world are promoting this uh, very much. So I think you can see uh, more Japanese clients uh, in the future uh, in at the Anuga. But then there is also the, uh, I think the dental show and uh, then there is uh, the office uh, organization or uh, show and many interesting uh, shows in uh, Cologne. I think this is uh, Frau Grau also very uh, a good base for business for your uh, companies uh, who are members in the IHK. Yes, of course. And uh, since you just mentioned the Cologne Fair, uh, for example, we often have foreign delegations who ask us for uh, a contact to um, a company or, or organizations. And very often we cooperate with the Cologne Fair on this and send those delegations over to the fair and uh, the fair shows them around their grounds and explains um, their work. So especially to the Cologne Fair, we have a good connection. And of course, the Cologne Fair as an organization itself is also active in Japan, amongst other large players from Cologne, such as the TÜV, Rhineland, yeah. or Bayer, we already mentioned, is of course also active in Japan, Lanxis. Egos, HRS. So many of our member companies um, yeah, have strong interests in Japan as well. Yes. And uh, uh, of course, uh, IHK itself is also an institution which offers a lot of education, business education. And I think I visited a startup event also at uh, IHK in Köln uh, some years ago. But uh, uh, of course, uh, the, the University of Cologne, the Technical University, and uh, uh, of course, uh, the sports, uh, uh, German Sports University uh, are well, very well known uh, in Japan, and there's a great potential to, to develop ties or strengthen ties uh, between uh, Cologne and um, uh, Japan, especially also Tokyo, of course, uh, here. Um, I think, uh, especially with uh, the aging population in uh, Japan and also Germany, the uh, uh, clusters or the research institutions you mentioned, uh, which focus on the aging issue and with the uh, medical uh, faculties of the universities, I think Cologne really has a very uh, strong uh, uh, setup there. Actually, uh, the former head of the Japanese uh, PMDA, which is the um, uh, organization which uh, uh, says you can use, uh, approves medicines 
uh, in uh, Japan or medical technology in Japan. He studied uh, or he was as a young researcher was at one of the Max Planck Institutes in, in Köln and he always uh, remembers this uh, very nicely. Uh, so there is a lot of potential there. And uh, of course, uh, not only Tokyo, but also Kyoto uh, is, uh, has a, a big heart for Cologne and there is a strong relationship with Kyoto. As you know, Kyoto is also a high-tech city, uh, not just a uh, city with a long history, uh, but um, a high-tech city which offers a lot of potential uh, for cooperation. But uh, we look forward uh, to the uh, very uh, um, uh, strengthening of the relationship uh, with um, uh, Cologne, uh, through the program with uh, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. And uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, Köln will be a lighthouse uh, in this respect. Uh, also because you have actually quite a good uh, Japanese infrastructure, uh, be it uh, uh, Japanese food uh, or uh, uh, so anything you uh, you want to have uh, regarding to Japan, including consultancies and so on, I think are available in Cologne. So uh, well, there has always been this uh, uh, kind of competition between Dusseldorf and Cologne, which we are not normally uh, allowed to speak about, but uh, uh, we uh, see that Cologne certainly uh, is uh, very well placed to continue this uh, competition in a very friendly manner, yes. Uh, Ms. Becker, uh, I'm sure you've been to Cologne many times. Maybe you would like to uh, comment and uh, give us a few closing remarks for today's session. Yes, of course. I also enjoyed the dynamic uh, life, uh, city life in uh, Köln many times. Um, I must say that I was uh, really impressed by the additional information we got today to the very, from the very comprehensive presentations. And I also would like to mention that I'm very happy that in this session, the Economic uh, Business Development Agency joined up with the local Chamber of Commerce and Industry, because I think together mm. they are the really um, perfect uh, partners for newcomers of companies who want to set up business and settle down in Cologne and be successful in their business. So thank you very much for this very good presentation and for the cooperation. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, we also have a very good collaboration here with the AHK Japan, uh, for which we are actually premium partner this year together with Lufthansa and BMW. Uh, so you see our name, NRW Global Business, always at their events. And uh, Markus Schürmann is a good friend, so uh, we look forward to further cooperation. Now, uh, so thank you once again, but before uh, we move on or before uh, we uh, say goodbye to our uh, listeners and viewers. Uh, I would like to uh, show you um, where we are going tomorrow. Uh, this wonderful uh, uh, building is in Krefeld and uh, we shall be in Krefeld uh, tomorrow. Uh, please look forward to this, to hear about this exciting and uh, city with a great tradition and uh, so we will uh, hear about Krefeld tomorrow and uh, in case you have any questions or complaints or uh, advice for us uh, please do not uh, hesitate to uh, contact us uh, at uh, uh, NRW Japan uh, or NRW Global Business uh, in uh, Tokyo my colleagues, uh, Ms. Naoko Yagihashi, Mr. Ryuji Sugizaki, uh, Mr. Haruaki Kuski, here you have all in Japanese, uh, are happy to support you uh, in your business activities, be it from Japan to uh, Nordrhein-Westfalen or also in the opposite direction from Nordrhein-Westfalen to Japan. 
And Ms. Becker, thank you once again for this participating, today, participating today. You and our uh, colleague Wolfgang Janssen, head of Business Unit Japan, also uh, are ready to support uh, all uh, business with uh, Japan. And uh, you have many, many years of experience in dealing with Japan. And uh, so I think we are very well positioned there. Yeah, so uh, coming to an end now. Mina sama, domo arigato gozaimashita. Kyo wa ano nagai jikan kerun no hanashi o ano kite kudasatte arigato gozaimashita. Zehi mata ano asu demo sanka shite itadakereba to omoimasu. Sore dewa ano dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu.